little female. So I'm assuming, yeah, little female. So we'll go ahead, we'll get her out. Right behind the head, just like she should be. This is in a 160. You see my trigger configuration is still the same. Uh, I've been doing it on these, just like I was on the 220s. Something took my bit, my bait. So obviously something was here. So I gotta have to rebate this. All right, we're probably half a mile away from the truck on the side by side. So. I don't have any more beaver meat with me, so I'm gonna use some final stuff. I'm gonna use a pretty big gob more than I would normally use on a dirt hole. I'm gonna make sure I'm all the way in the back. Maybe I'll even put a little more in there. I get a good price. We'll put that in there. We'll get our trap in here. Pinch the levers up. Once again, you can see I'm back further than I need to be. Part of that, it's nice if you're back far enough, it helps prevent some of the coon from wanting to reach in. Coon will try to reach in and grab the bait without committing to going in the box. And then they just get set off. So that kind of helps with that. And the law says I have to be back four inches. So we're all set with that and it's time to go. Okay. For West Wind. <laughs> 